Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be going over how to assess the neck, specifically the carotid artery and looking at those neck vessels. Now this is typically done during the cardiac part whenever you're assessing a patient either from head to toe or you're just wanting to do a cardiac focus assessment and this is really important on those middle age or older adults who have a history of cardiac disease because what we're going to be doing whenever we're doing this assessment we are going to auscultate the carotids for brewies which I'll go over that here in a second and we're going to palpate and we're going to feel on the carotid artery we want to know how um, the contour feels or the amplitude and we're gonna grade it, and then next we're gonna assess those neck vessels for any bulging, looking for fluid overload, things like that. So let's get started. So first what we're gonna do is we are going to auscultate the carotid artery, and what we're listening for are bruies, and that's what I talked about at the beginning of the video, and this is where you have a turbulence of blood flow, and it'll sound like a blowing or swishing sound, and this is indicative of atherosclerotic narrowing, and what you wanna do is you want to use the bell of your stethoscope and we're going to listen in three different places to get a really good um, assessment. We're going to listen at the angle of the jaw, so find the jaw and we're going to go right below it, so we're going to go in there. And then we're going to go mid cervical area, which your cervical area is your neck and we're just going to go in the middle of it, so we're going to go about right there. And then we're going to go at the base of the neck. And the key whenever you're doing this is you want to press lightly with the bell of your stethoscope. And whenever you're doing that, you're just pressing lightly because you don't want to create a false brewery or compromise circulation by narrowing the arteries. And what you want to do whenever you do this, you want to have the patient take a breath and have them exhale and hold it for a second while you're listening. So you're not hearing breath sounds and it won't mess with the sounds that you're hearing. So we're going to listen real fast. Okay, so first let's go at the angle of the jaw. Okay. Um, take a breath for me and exhale. Okay, take a breath for me and exhale again. Okay, again. Okay, and that sounded great. And then you're just gonna compare sides and repeat on the other side. Now let's palpate the carotid artery. Now, whenever you're doing this, you want to, again, compare sides like how you were whenever you're listening, but what you're gonna do is you're going to palpate lightly. And what you wanna use is your index finger and your middle finger, finger. do not use your thumb, and avoid putting too much pressure on the carotid sinus, which is up in this area because this has sensitive baroreceptors, and especially in the older patients, your elderly patients, you could cause um, vagal stimulation, which will um, slow the heart rate down. So do not do that. It's generally good to palpate in the lower half of the neck to avoid that carotid sinus area. And um, what you wanna do is you wanna locate the trachea and the sternocleidoid mastoid muscle. And in that middle of that groove is where you will find that carotid artery. And what you're looking for, what you're actually feeling for is the amplitude and the contour. You want it to feel smooth and rapid, have a rapid upstroke and a slower downstroke. And you wanna grade it. And a normal grading is two plus. If it's really hard and bounding, it would be three or four. And if it's, you can barely feel it, it's diminished. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna assess the vessels in the neck. And we're particularly paying attention to those jugular veins and we're looking for um, increased central venous pressure. And to do that, what we're gonna do is have the patient lay back supine on their back at a 45 degree angle. And sometimes it helps to get an extra little light so you can shine it on the neck so you can see the vessels very good. And what we're gonna do first, we're going to um, look for the sternomastoid muscle, which runs right here, and we're looking for the external jugular, which overlays this muscle. And normally what you will see is that it's slightly flat. Again, you might need your light, or you may not even see anything at all, which is okay. And if you do see that this is bulging or very, very large, this is usually present in patients with congestive heart failure who have increased central venous pressure. But here it's nice and flat and you want it to look like that. Okay. 
Okay, so that is how you assess the neck for your head to toe assessment. Now be sure to check out my other nursing assessment videos. A link should be popping up so you can access that. And thank you so much for watching.